Welcome to the new CSI snapshot feature. I already have a, a bunch of objects created in my Kubernetes cluster, as you can see here. I have a PV, PVC, and a pod that is consuming that volume. So I'm now just going to exec into that pod. And you can see that on slash demo, I do have my volume. In that volume, it's mounted on slash demo. There is a directory called special dir and a file called special file that has some contents. I'm now just going to update that file with some new contents so we can see the snapshot functionality uh, working later on. Okay, so that's the uh, file updated. Let's now go ahead and start looking at the snapshot feature in earnest. So I have a few uh, manifest files created here. You can see the first one is a volume class. It is set to use our CSI driver from VMware and also a deletion policy of delete. So I'm going to create that class and let's check it. It has been created successfully and it has using our CSI driver. So that's the first step. The next step now is we want to create a snapshot and we're going to do that dynamically. You can see the manifest there again. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the particular PVC that I've already created as identified by the persistent volume claim name in the manifest above. Okay, so now I'm ready to create the snapshot. I simply apply that manifest. And now let's look at the volume snapshot. Looks like it's been created successfully. And more importantly, or probably just as importantly, is to look at the volume snapshot contents. So let's look at that next. You can think of volume snapshot and volume snapshot content as being akin to a PVC and resulting PV. You can see them created there. Let's go and have a look at PVC again. We only have one, the initial one. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to restore the snapshot to a PVC by building this PVC manifest here. The interesting thing here is the data source. It's coming from a volume snapshot called block snapshot vol, which is the one that I created earlier. Let's apply the snapshot restore manifest. And that looks like it has been successful. And now we have two PVCs, my original one and one that has been restored from a snapshot. There is resulting PV as well. So we have the contents, which is all good. And now if I flip over to vSphere and check our container volumes view, you can see that it is available there as well. It's not in use by any pod at the moment, um, but if we check our original PVC or PV, we can see that it is used by a pod. So that's the next step or the final step is to create a pod uh, that is going to mount up the PVC that we restored uh, from the snapshot. So you can see there's just a simple busy box pod. It's going to mount on sla slash a snapshot and the claim name is the block snapshot restore PVC. So let's apply that. And now let's have a look at the pods. We'll just use a minus W to watch them. And there you go, it's already running. So the pod name is there. Let's exec into it like we did before, opening a shell. And once we're inside it, we can go and have a look and see whether the contents were also restored. So you can see it's mounted on slash snapshot. There you go. Let's go into that folder. Special there. Yeah, same as before. Let's cut the contents of the file. And it looks like our information has been successfully restored with the snapshot. That completes the demonstration.